So another great way to share YouTube videos in kind of a list that takes away all the distractors is to use Microsoft's Sway. This is an Office 365 app. So if you're an Office 365 district, you can simply just go here to your, your uh, waffle of options and find Sway or just go to sway.office.com and of course just sign in using your school's uh, credentials. Clean, easy. Now Sway can do a whole bunch of things. I'm not going to get too deep in the weeds with it, but let's just consider using Sway for sharing videos. So I'm just going to create a new Sway. And, and the great thing about Sway is they work well on pretty much every device. So from smartphone to computer to tablet, they come out very lean and clean. And there's a lot of easy options. So again, I'm going to just say this is um, his world. We'll call this World War II videos. just to keep with my theme. And Sway, uh, again, without going too deep into the weeds with, with Sway, because there's a, it's a really powerful application, but um, every time you see the green and white plus, you can add something to it. So you can add titles, uh, documents, that sort of thing. So similar to say Wakelet, which was one of the other ways to share as well. But I'm just gonna click, so this is, they call this kind of a stack design. So to start off with Sway, you're going to create kind of a stack of different content. So I'm just gonna click this uh, plus button. Although I could, if I wanted to create a background, just click on this picture. And if I wanted to choose, look it out, automatically says World War II. But if I do World War II here in this little search, it's gonna ask me, do you want images or videos? Well, I'm looking for, images for this. So uh, I'll just create this uh, this one here. We'll use this with the tank and click add. And that's going to add that video. And it may not look like it's really uh, doesn't look good right now, but don't worry about that just yet because I'm just in editing mode with Sway. I'm going to close this for a sec. So now I'm going to go to the plus button again. So this is going to be my first video. And notice I have all of these fabulous options down here, trying not to get too distracted. I'm going to choose the media option here. And then I've got some more options and I'm going to choose video here. When I click that, you should get a sidebar menu of that'll let you search. Now notice it's saying videos. It's giving you suggested where you want to find them. If I click this drop down, I can get them from, I could get videos from my OneDrive. I could get suggested, which is here. I could get Bing images. And I could also, if I know the video I want is in YouTube, I can click YouTube. So if I click that and let me just do type in simple history, one of my favorite channels to get YouTube videos. Let's just see if it does that. There we go. So oversimplified is another one, but so here are some videos. Uh, from World War II. And let's just say I want to use this one on the Dunkirk invasion. So I'm going to click that and just click add. And again, I could add several of these if I wanted to. So if I wanted to add that with Dunkirk, Eastern Front of World War II, notice this one's checked, that one's checked. So I could add several of them all in one fell swoop. So I don't have to keep bouncing back and forth. And let me just choose one more. So I've added four videos to my collection and I'm going to click add. And that's going to bring in all of those videos. If I want to put a caption for it, I can, but I'm just going to keep this lean and clean and make this a group that I want to share with my students. So now when I'm finished, I can change the design if I want to, or I can just, if I want to see what it looks like, I can hit play. And this is what it looks like. So it's given me, here's my title, and then here's the different videos that I can play. And notice when I hit play, it's taken away all the distractors from YouTube. So um, really nice and clean way to share a bunch of videos. If you don't like the way this one looks, you can change its design just by clicking this and editing again, and you can change how it looks and feel. Again, I don't wanna to dig too deep into that. You can also quickly share to your students. 
And when you click the share notice, it says by default, those in your organization. So if you want to just share these with students and not with anybody else outside of your district, um, you can do that. Just the students on the other end, when they get this link, would have to sign in with their Pine Valley credentials. So it's actually, this is a nice feature, especially for sharing videos because um, you, you can kind of uh, contain your videos and who's seeing them and sharing them in your playlist, or you can make it, um, you could do it open so anybody could see that. And then again, if you want uh, other teachers say to edit this as well and add their videos, they could, or just show view. So uh, I'm just clicking that for anyone with the link. And again, I could copy it and then uh, send it out to students, parents, whoever you'd like. You can just copy this link and put it in an email and that'll bring them to this way. And again, they could also use their smartphone to view it or tablet. So Sway is a great option for sharing YouTube videos.